and welcome back to my playthrough of Starfox Adventures. I'm one half Steam Phil. In the last episode, we got ourselves a spellstone by killing or destroying the uh, King Red Eye, the leader of the Red Eye, or just a big Red Eye who's stuck in the pyramid. Anyway, no matter. Uh, in this episode, we're going to take the spellstone back to where it should do, as the King of Falkland did say. We need to take it to the Volcano Force Point Temple. So, without further ado, let's head back towards Dinosaur Planet. Yes, let's return to orbit, please. This one might be relatively short because uh, there's not a huge amount of puzzling in the second version of the Volcano Force Point Temple. There's a couple of things to collect, but other than that, it's not that difficult. Yeah, we'll just shoot off into the sky. So, let's head back towards Dinosaur Planet and see what one of our team members say. The King Earthwalker is very grateful, Fox. You saved him from those blood-crazed red eyes. Take this spellstone to the Volcano Force Point. It will close the seal at the volcano, and you will be one step closer to bringing the planet back together. Get to it, Fox. You know the way. Pepper out. Yeah, like you said, we need to take it, the Spellstone to the Volcano Force Point Temple. So we should be edging closer to bringing the planet, obviously, back together. So, without further ado, let's go there. What I'll do is I'll meet you on the on the surface, because at the end of the day, this next bit is exactly the same, like I've already said, as the previous. So, uh, only had to get one ring, blah, blah, blah. So I'll see you in a second. And all right, we're back. And oh, I love the music. I hope you just stop the episode here. Uh, no. Uh, what we'll do is that we'll head towards the Volcano Force Point Temple. So as always, we should know the way by now from the previous time we went down there, which is the Moon Mountain Pass. I knew I forgot the exact name of it, but just remembered. Yes, give me red spore things. I don't want anything to do with you. So as uh, Pepper said, we should know the way. And in of course, I do, or we do, so uh, yeah, it's relatively simple to start off with, it's just literally getting there first, say, as the uh, same way, it's a shame there isn't like a quick travel, because that would be helpful right about now, to save all this walking, but hey ho, just a quick casual walk up there, come on, excuse me, thank you, and already halfway there. Yeah, lovely. So from that music, cool music to this eerie music to now this music, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> obviously the barrels still keep on coming down even though there's no enemies on the uh, watchtower, but we have plenty of health now, so we should be absolutely fine. Just ignore them all. Bye. Thank you. And we just all we do is just head straight up. We don't need to do anything else at the moment. It's a quick trek up here. There we go. And we're already in here. Lovely. Let's go away for the platforms now. Yeah, because I knew that was going to happen. Uh. So, yeah, when I'm uh, recording this, um, obviously E3 has come and gone a long time ago, good, oh that was too close, good month or so, and obviously there was rumours of new, well I thought I was frozen and I literally thought the game froze, uh, uh, there's new uh, Star Fox coming out, so obviously not much else on it, it's coming on the Wii U so I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and they say they're going to use the gamepad, which okay fine, but you know, it depends if we can just use the gamepad itself just controls wise not uh, the screen but the idea sounds quite good of what they've just shown which is almost nothing they've just done slight descriptions and uh, some of the press did get to see a very very early build of it um, not much else to say about it really but uh, yeah it should be interesting I mean I've been waiting for a Star Fox game for a long time uh, I've never played Assault which I've been meaning to but trying to get it now it's 
quite expensive. Uh, well, not quite expensive, just, yeah, a bit of a pain. And as you can see, the Force Point Temple is a little bit more heavily guarded than it was once was. And. Dead, yep, yeah, dead. Yeah. yeah, I think it's not as uh, easy to get into now. They did try to put some forces in the way. Well, I say forces, they're quite easy. Um, so the first initial part of this is literally going through doors and everything that we've already opened before, so it's relatively simple to start off with. Just going to ignore this guy, leave me alone. There we go. I'm not here. Yeah, see you later, mate. Right, there we go. No, come on. Nothing to fight you, you're really not that hard. Done. And down the lift. Such a simple part. And these annoying fiery bats again. Go away, I don't care. Now we can use this to activate this spellstone spot. This is where things become more interesting. Now, because of the way this works, it's annoying. I don't like this bit at all. Ah, uh, can I jump on that? Yes, I can. What a j Really? Go away. Okay. There we go. What a jump. Now the reason I came this way is because there is a fuel cell. They may have noticed up top. May as well get some magic whilst I'm here. We've got plenty of grab tubs, so no need to worry about them at the moment. It's a lot of climbing. Out. And another fuel cell. So yeah, we have quite an abundance because we've only got one more place to go uh, to fly to. So we should have enough anyway. No. Now, we'll go up this lift, and this room is not too tricky, to be honest. Uh, oh, I've already forgotten about it. Right, okay, as you can see, there's an order to these flames. There's blue, green, red, and yellow. So you want to remember that when you come up here, and I should have gone the other side. It's fine. I'll just walk around. Just ignore the beads because I don't need them. Not at the moment. Ah, uh, blue. Okay, blue. Yeah, you have to do it in the correct order, which it isn't that hard, but. I mean, the first time I tried, I'm thinking, okay, it's not working, and realised pretty quickly that I'm missing something here. Uh, reds. Yep. And yellow. Which opens the gate. So, relatively easy puzzle. Like a lot of these are. Right, hello, Trick. Are you down here? Yep. And opens this up. Where we met the two shark for. He's just going to stand there and let me hit you. Then. That was good, wasn't it? That's nice of him. Come on. And down. So the, the, this switch will keep will not stay down, so you have to let Tricky stay so you can use the ladder. And work your way up here. And get the dowels ready. I freeze glass, whatever. There we go. Done. Thank you. And right, with me. Come on. Yes, you are. Stupid dinosaur. And now another fun part. Now I think I can hit it from here. So let's see. It's got quite a good range. This right. Uh, he's going to get a tricky stay on this one. Stay. 
so we can then go on this platform and hit the corresponding orbs. We've already seen this before, we've got no idea how to do it now, so... And I missed. Really? Oh, I need to get close, I think. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, missed. Badly. Come on. Yes. One more. There we go. I even missed that, really, and still counted. It's fine. Jump. Alright, follow me. Follow me. Uh, just... Mm, okay. I'm not even going to go there. Right, so all we've got to do now is avoid these guys. Leave me alone. Just going to walk now. Bye-bye. And we can guess where we're going now. Again, puzzle quite easy. Not too tricky. And somehow Tricky beats us here again. I don't know how this dinosaur does it. He may as well do it himself. Why say wait up, Fox, when you got here first? Well, it doesn't matter. Right, so all we've got to do now is place the spell stone in its corresponding place. So yeah, three down, one to go. We can kind of guess which temple we're going to go to next after that, uh, and where the last one possibly is. Uh, and we're not going to be met with enemies. Okay, so uh, again, this episode is a little bit shorter than some of the others, but um, I think we'll leave it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll be one half Steam Phil. In the next episode, we are doing some stuff. Probably on the Moon Mountain Pass, I think, from the top of my head. Uh, so, yeah, you can just relax for a bit tricky. Um, I'll see you next time.